Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm back with something a little special and a little different. This is the Firewalla Blue Home Firewall and VPN. So it's a one-stop shop for home security, network monitoring. You can use it also as a VPN even when you're away from home and you can block all the unwanted traffic either trying to come into your network, malicious intent or not, and also you can block stuff going out like trying to keep your kids off of inappropriate websites. Or if you're like me and you have a bunch of kids and they don't want to come out of their room to clean it, you can easily shut off the internet straight to whatever device they're using. So if that's not a good selling point, I don't know what is. But it's very simple setup. It's very easy to use. It all is controlled through an app and all you have to do is plug it straight into your wireless router. So here we are with the firewall of blue. Now, before I go any further in the video, if this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you coming by to watch this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you're interested in getting notifications for the latest and greatest. Now, let's take a look at the firewall of blue. All right, so here we are with the firewall of blue. So before I get too far into this, I do want to say that this was sent out as a review unit from the firewall of people. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not being compensated for this and they're not getting to see this before you are. Now, before I get into how this thing actually works, I want to go ahead and do the unboxing so you can see what all comes inside of here. It's very straightforward. It's very, very simple and easy to use. All you have to do is just plug it straight into your router. You don't have to do anything crazy. Uh, worst case scenario, you might have to go into your network settings so you can open up the DNS stuff if that's something you're familiar with, but it's very easy. Uh, all you have to do is mostly just click one little switch. It's an option. I had to do it uh, for the expanded controls on mine, but otherwise, here we are with the firewall of blue. There's a very simple get, it, get started guide, but the most important thing you need to know to get this set up is all you have to do is download the app, scan the barcode that's on the bottom of the firewall, and you'll be up and running in no time. Now, it comes with the power brick. You need this to plug it into the firewall itself to power it. It comes with a micro USB cable. And then here's the firewall of blue. Like I said, very straightforward. All you have to do is plug it into the micro USB on the front. It has an SD card that's already in there that it uses to store information and things like that. You don't need to worry about expanding that for other things. And then there's the ethernet cable on the back, sorry, the ethernet port. And that's where you plug it directly into the router. Like I said, straightforward, simple, and easy to use. And that's the biggest theme that revolves around this entire product. Uh, I was a little hesitant at first whenever they asked me if I wanted to review it because this is not really my cup of tea. I do have a lot of computer experience. I have messed with some limited networking and, and router stuff in the past, but really I've just never set up one of these security system things, you know, the firewall stuff, the VPN, all that, because it's been such, you know, something that I thought was going to be really, really difficult. And the biggest takeaway from this product is it makes it so simple and so easy. Now, I thought I was going to have to go in and change and update a bunch of stuff, but you just power it up by plugging in the USB cable, you use the Ethernet cable and you plug it in, plug it straight into your wireless router, and you're up and running in as probably little as about 10 or 15 minutes. And you get it set up through the app. It's very straightforward, very simple. And that's the biggest thing that I like about it. All right, so with this little guy right here, I was a little skeptical at first because, you know, home security is something that's really not something that's typically very simple or very easy. Even with the limited knowledge that I have on dealing with routers and networks and modems and VPNs and all sorts of other stuff, these are all crazy words, terminology, and stuff that usually means complicated. I was surprised with how simple it is to use this. All you have to do is plug it in. There's an included ethernet cable. You plug it straight into your uh, wireless router or your router, whichever you're using. And then you use the app to set it up. There's a barcode on the bottom of it. All you have to do is scan that with the app and that's how you get started. Very easy. Now, whenever you get set up, you can do all sorts of things like block, uh, block internet traffic, you can monitor internet, internet traffic. You can monitor the individual internet traffic for any devices connected to your network. You'll get notifications on any device when it connects to your network. Also, the source, origin, location, so you can see where it's coming from if it's outside the network. And it'll give you notifications on pretty much everything. And that's one of the only downsides with this is you do get a lot of notifications. So until you learn 
you know, you can block some stuff or you can you know, disable some alarms, but otherwise it's really helpful. And it's nice because I can see exactly what my family's doing. I can see what my kids are doing. I can see what the devices on my network are doing. So that's great. Now, if you're like me and you have young children in the house, you know that they can be very prone to going to websites that they're not supposed to like the latest Minecraft hacks, download this and you'll get the ultimate Minecraft settings, blah, blah, blah. You don't want them to access that because you're just opening up yourself for trouble. And then you're going to find out that after fact, after the fact that, you know, you got some sort of malware or some sort of uh, adware that's installed on your kid's computer and it's unusable. Or you, this will also work to block ads or if there's inappropriate content that you don't want them to see, like you know, certain websites or uh, certain other places, then you can block those directly. And not only can you block them directly, you can block them for everyone. So if you want to go in and you can manually set up and say, this domain, do not go, then you can set that up. Or if you want to have it set up where just one person can't, if you think that something's appropriate for older children, but not for younger children, you can go in and set individual rules for that as well. Now, for blocking stuff, there's the global settings. So you can have family mode where it'll automatically block things like pornographic material. It'll block things that also that it also deems hazardous or inappropriate. You can do the safe search where if they go into Google, it'll automatically filter out um, inappropriate or harmful uh, search search results so it won't put that in there and it's automatically set up for a couple different search engines but primarily Google and you can go in and do that as well so it's really nice the functionality is great and I've really enjoyed it now there are some other advanced things that you can do like the VPN your virtual private network what that does is it blocks access to basically what it is that you're looking at and other people can't see that so if you go to like a cafe you're on a public Wi-Fi somewhere, you can set this up to where you can dial in and it'll contact your network at home and use that. So it's basically like setting up your own VPN. Now there are VPNs you can get, there are app VPNs, there are ones that you can pay for, you can get the ones that have the subscription services. It's all built in with this and all you have to do is set it up, you can connect to it uh, with your network whenever you're outside away from your home, which is a really nice setting. Now I haven't quite figured that one out yet, um, it does require some advanced skill and some advanced stuff to set it up. It's not one of those ones where you just flip the one switch and then you're good to go. You have to go in and you have to set certain things up in the app and also on your home network that opens it up and allows it to come in. So really cool though. And it's another nice added feature that you have that goes along with it. I've really been enjoying this. There are some moments where there has been some frustration, especially whenever I first started using it because it's just like pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. Well, the pop-ups that you're getting, they're, they're the alerts, whether it's a device connecting to the network or any time that uh, a device like uploads certain data to the internet or when your kids start playing games, anything like that, it'll give you all these notifications. So once you get all that stuff tuned in and set up with the way you want it, either with the family mode or with the individual rules, it will make life a little bit better. But if you don't go set all that stuff up and you just use the global settings, you're going to get a lot of notifications. But it's really nice. It's a great way to keep tabs on things. It's a great way to keep your network and your information safe so people can't pry in. They can't contact your network. They can't get in. It keeps out people who are trying to hack into your network and it gives you notifications. And then also, it'll give you notifications if your kids are trying to access things that they're not supposed to. So I like it. I think that it's really good, especially for the $179 price tag. It gives you some peace of mind. Other headaches that I did have, you have to go in I did have a few problems whenever I was trying to use some of my connected devices. So like I have a light set up on my Google network. Uh, I have like smart switches and things like that. Or even whenever I was trying to play one of my video games, it wouldn't connect to the outside server, even though I had the video game stuff turned off. So you need to go in and you might have to identify certain things like ports or different connections to prioritize to allow it to use them. Otherwise you might run into some headaches like me and not be able to use, um, like when you're connected devices or you know something like that for a week because it took me like three days before I figured out that the reason I couldn't play my Apex Legends game was because this was blocking it but after I got that sorted out no big deal so you might run into some little headaches like that along the way but other than that I think that it's a very worthwhile device it's something that's great it's simple and easy to use the app is pretty straightforward and easy to use as well um, I've got some you know instances of that but 
I just like the simplicity of it. It's very simple. It's very easy. And you can get more advanced and you can dive into the weeds and do some more uh, creative things with it. Or you can do some more detailed things with it. But just being able to plug it in and being able to flip a couple of switches on an app is priceless to me whenever it comes to having the security, the peace of mind, and the ability to monitor what's going on with my network. So I think it's a good solution if this is something that you're interested in. And also at the price point, I think that it's really good for 179 bucks. So that's all I've got on the firewall of blue. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. As I said earlier, I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates on the latest and greatest. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.